One of the city's newest restaurants is giving the Louisville community a taste of Australia. Recently named the best new restaurant by Leo Weekly, Harvey's offers everything from modern Australian cuisine to their signature cheese plates. Joining me here in the in the kitchen, co-owners Brent and Ashley Mills. Great to have you all here. Congratulations Thank on you. that. Had yeah. to be like, wow, did you know that that was coming? Did you know you were even nominated? Well, it was. How yeah. did it all happen? <laughs> I don't know. We're so I love it. Yeah, we just got announced at nine. We got a little bit of a heads up. Oh, that we yeah. Won. Um, and yeah, you can nominate anybody in the That's city. So, so we got yeah. Such a, lot of a compliment to you all because you really just you just opened what in February. Yeah, it's yeah. Only, I think February. It's hard to keep track, but it's been about seven or eight months. You yes. know, <laughs> and and we're listening to you now, and now I'm starting to realize why the Australian themed restaurant, right? Yeah. Like, how did this? How did you all meet? We met almost 20 years ago wow. when I was an exchange student in Australia. Still and, together. You know, yeah. I, uh, yeah, couldn't resist the accent, and uh, <laughs> yeah, he was a little souvenir I was able to bring back to America. And and bring kind of a taste of it to Louisville, and we love our cuisine here in Louisville. Um, and so I'll let you go ahead and get started yeah, with a sure. sample of what you're you're cooking today. And and I don't I don't know many people that can that can say I've had Australian food, right? Yeah. What is it? Yeah, it's pretty pretty unique. So very uh, multicultural. How would you describe it? Yeah, I, mean, I think what I cook specifically is food from Sydney, which is a very multicultural city. Yeah. So you'll see a lot in my food that we're using a lot of Asian ingredients, um, um, which luckily Louisville has a lot of really good um, Asian grocery stores around town. So I get some interesting in ingredients from around there and um, incorporate a bit of modern Australian food and just kind of cook what I want to cook, what I miss about Australia, basically. Bring it a little bit yeah. here. What are you cooking here today? So today, since it's uh, going into fall, we're going to make a uh, pumpkin risotto. Oh, yeah. Um, in Australia, we don't really yeah. eat much pumpkin in um, sweet applications, but um, savory applications, we use a pumpkin a lot. So I'm going to use pumpkin in a pumpkin curry risotto that mm. we just started serving last week at the restaurant. Yeah, we think right. Louisville needs to uh, be introduced to the savory side the of pumpkin. Savory the savory side The first time he had pumpkin pie in America Thanksgiving, Didn't he was work. like, no, this, yeah, what is right? this? What's going on? And the on? savory side of it, I mean, including it in entrees that maybe you would normally think of. I think it's a yeah. very autumnal flavor, obviously, yes. but it doesn't have to be so sweet. And it, what are you balancing in it so it's not tasting so sweet? So, yeah, we do have um, some other garnishes that we're going to use. Um, we have some pickled apple to kind of offset some of the sweetness of the pumpkin. Oh, yum. The curry that we make a curry paste in house, and um, that kind of also kind of takes away a bit of the sweetness, so it becomes a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet, and savory all at the same time. Right. Yeah. Um, and I love kind of the, ba the the backstory on the name of the restaurant, named yeah, after named your named after our son. That's how he convinced me. You know, he's the chef. He always yes. wanted to have a restaurant, and we started um, as a cheese shop in Logan Street Market, yeah. Harvey's Cheese, uh, four years ago. We just uh, celebrated the four-year mark of being business owners. Fantastic. Um, but he came home. Was that one Harvey night. in that picture we just saw? Oh yeah, that's Harvey. Oh, yeah, he's got yeah. a restaurant named after. I know, him. and he loves it. Yeah, <laughs> but Look he's like, that. we'll name it Harvey. So yeah. And then um, he always wanted it to evolve into our own space and have the restaurant. And um, your, yeah, your really other son is Milo. Does Milo. He yes. now want a restaurant named after him. He he's expecting a restaurant. So <laughs> yeah, we, 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 yeah, why not? Yeah, we're, we're, we, we got to figure. We got to figure out something for Milo. So uh, yeah. Talk about some of the cheeses uh, that you, you still have that, and yeah. that is a big part of your business as well. Yeah, we still we sell love retail cheese. cheese. Um, we have um, an amazing cheese expert in our shop, um, and we do special cheese pairing events every month that are so popular. Um, Last month we did cheese and sake pairing. Coming up um, in November, we're doing a cheese and um, like apple cider oh, pairing. Wow. And then what is it, uh, apple brandy as yeah, well? We're get, we've got some really good armagnacs and cognacs that we're going to pair it with and mm -hmm. um, a couple of uh, apple ciders and pear ciders, so it's going to yeah. be a, a pairing. This is new to me, they like to try the cheese with different pairings. Right, because we do That's cheese great. and bourbon, we do yeah. cheese and wine, cheese and beer, but then also these unique experiences that people maybe have not had and yeah. not thought of. And it's really fun, and then you learn about the cheese, There's you learn the about the, right the drinks, you learn about um, why it goes well together, and we just have a lot of fun. Yeah, we, the That's restaurant... That has to be so fun for groups. Like, yeah. It's just a fun thing that if you're looking for a, like a night out of yes. something different to yes. do. Yes. A lot of 
people say yeah. this is a great girls' night out. It's a great time for um, dates. It's a great, yeah. we, you know, of course, having small children, we bring our kids there, so great for families. It's family friendly, it too. It is. Yeah, we Most have a definitely. kids menu also. Uh, and we do um, take reservations because of being a small restaurant, yeah. we do book up, so on open table, you can always. Uh, oh my God, look, I'm in look love. Look at, that. look at that. That looks absolutely delicious. Can you um, order these like in boxes, the cheese boards yes, and things like that? Yes, you definitely can. Yeah, I'm on sold. our website, you can see our catering menu and order um, for all different sizes. People are cheese board obsessed. They are, yeah. yeah. And we like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. keep with that, people. Does it yeah. keep you like of always thinking like of different things to kind of like pair in that box together? Because I think that there is an art and a craft yeah. to what you put together in yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. And I think our um, team is really thoughtful about not only it looking beautiful, because that's important. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to see and take pictures of it, but also what actually complements each other. Absolutely. Um, on the board. So. so in addition to the cheese, expert cheeses, ask anybody questions yeah. probably about what, if you yeah. have an event, right, you'd yeah. probably be able to advise us on what to do. Yeah. Uh, can you also rent out the restaurant, the space? You can. Okay. Yeah, being a small space. Planning your parties. holidays. You're yeah, welcome. Bachelorette <laughs> parties, bachelor parties, bridal showers. Um, we're happy to do it. So I just celebrated uh, my 40th birthday there Aww, and had all my happy friends birthday. and family there. Thank you. Yeah. And it was so awesome. Had to be fun. So. Yeah, it's been it's been a great year, and just the response and the great the response, community yeah. um, feedback has been amazing. The reviews, we're just so thankful and appreciative of all the love and support from our city. Can't say enough about Logan Street Market because I feel like it's such a great launch board for people yes. to try and test. There's just so many great things over there. Yeah. Uh, that I mean, for you, did you find that that was like a really great place to kind of say, let's try this? And now we're so popular that we ought to really think about getting a storefront. It's, yes, exactly, yeah. and that's where. We, when Brent first heard about the market opening, he's like, this will be a great place mm. for us to get our start. And we've seen a lot of other businesses flourish there and then, um, yeah, get their own. Look at Brent working countries. hard over here. I know. Just he's putting so all good. the finishing he's touches so on it. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing. What are you doing? So, I mean, yeah, it definitely is influenced by Indian cuisine because uh -huh. we're using a, a paneer cheese that's made in Ohio. Um, we've got our roasted acorn squash as a garnish as well, mm -hmm. our pickled apple, and we're going to put some... Um, this is a spinach and cardamom puree. Oh my goodness. So it's very much like an Indian dish, but also an Italian dish. Well, and it's beautiful too. And the rice that we use is actually a Japanese rice. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing that we do a lot at the restaurant is use Asian Look ingredients, but kind of on can, European dishes. Can I put dishes. the finished product right here so I can get a beautiful yeah. camera shot? I want to show everybody. And these Let's are some um, crispy let everybody see it. Indian um, rice treats that are seasoned with curry powder as well. They kind of look like um, Fruit Loops, but they're actually safe. <laughs> <laughs> Again, grateful that we have the produce and the markets available where you can shop for everything yeah. to create this beautiful dish. Yeah. Look at this. Just one of the many dishes that you can get uh, over at Harvey's, located in the Clifton Crescent Hill neighborhood, kind yeah, of right there. Uh, do check them out. It's great to meet you all. So nice I to just meet keep you. talking to you all forever. It's so, so fun. Uh, wonderful. So you guys just go to harveysloo.com. You can see their complete menu there, uh, the cheese boards and everything that you can order. Everything's right there, mm -hmm. as well as uh, their special events coming up. Check them out.